If you value peace of mind and safety, then hold on tight, because that's exactly what you won't be getting in this video. Starting with this wave pool from hell. If you ever want to experience what it's like being hit by a tsunami, or how a spider feels when it's flushed down the toilet, yeah, fun stuff. Adulthood is about turning that Hot Wheels set into the fastest water slide around. I had no idea slide loops even existed. No matter the temperature, this will send a shiver down your spine. What's more thrilling than jumping into an icy oblivion held up by a few springy ropes? Sights like these are great, but can you really enjoy a scenic view when you're shaking from head to toe like a leaf in a hurricane? Some people just aren't built for this. If you don't mind multiple bruises the next morning, feast your eyes on this. Here, chaos comes first and comfort second. Claustrophobia has left the chat. Is this a portal into another dimension? Sure, you can zipline from A to B, or you could jump from A to Z to H. What's more relaxing than being thrown down like a rag doll? Whichever friend talked him into this is not a friend. It's a good thing they're wearing helmets, though. But I'm not sure how much it'll help if someone falls a thousand feet. Here's how you guarantee to raise the stress levels of everyone watching. Yep, I'm fine with just a regular bottom of the swimming pool. And that's why you should never go first. Let others be the guinea pigs before it's your turn. Nope. If you don't have matchsticks or flintstones to start a fire, just use this type of heat and friction. When you upgrade from your childhood trampoline to what the big boys do, just remember guys, belly flopping is a bad idea. This is how you turn those GTA missions into a real life experience. One downside though, is not having the safety net of being a video game. Searching for adrenaline-inducing activities is a vicious cycle. But who doesn't like a nice bike ride in the treetops? If you want to feel what it's like to jump off a building without full commitment, here you are. As techniques go, I definitely wouldn't follow his approach. Kid forgot he wasn't playing Super Mario. When your need for always going higher on the swing at home manifests into the extreme. There's just one thing you need to remember for this breathtaking lunch out experience. Don't forget the bottle opener. That's exactly how it feels to jump off a building into a haystack when playing Assassin's Creed. All he needs to work on now is the assassin part. If we can trust waiters to carry stacked plates of expensive food to our tables, then we can trust these too, right? Here's how you can literally live life on the edge. There's no way I'm trusting the hardest enough to skip like that though. If that isn't the stairway to heaven, I'm gonna be disappointed. If we ever run out of guns and ammo during a war, it's comforting knowing that the human catapult is there for the government's use. She's gonna be in a bit of trouble if she runs out of steam halfway across. Where's a giant hamster when you need one? POV of a donut being dumped into a million sprinkles. It's the way she would have wanted to go. Some kids get traumatized by watching scary movies too young. Others get traumatized by going on rides that spin you a million miles per hour. The skill to make very unsafe looking things safe is very underrated. The construction notes definitely were build something heart attack inducing. It's difficult to put your life in someone else's hands, especially this high up. But when the hand looks like this, it makes things a bit easier. This is not what he thought they meant by doing wheelies. On the plus side, cycle-powered energy could rival the wind turbines. 
If you have balance like he does, then everything comes easy. He puts damage control and dancing in the same bracket. And this is where having wide-shaped feet really works against you. Trying on shoes is hard enough. Don't add vertigo on top of that. If you want to make a dinner reservation with a trackside view, then this is the place for you. But as well as losing your train of thought, you could also lose an arm if you're not careful. Who would have thought going to the Devil's Pool could be a heaven-sent experience? Regardless, stunts like these require either two things, balls of titanium or brains of mush. Honestly, as date night activities go, this one would be a deal breaker for me. Are you really going to trust a bit of glass to keep you from a man-eating reptilian monster? Here's the safest way to push your annoying friends off a waterfall without the complications. Is anyone else wondering how she gets back up? If you want to make sure you don't hit your head off the bottom, then try diving into the world's deepest pool. And while you're down there, why not dig into a game of chess or table soccer? When your fear of falling through the glass causes you to nearly vault over the railing, I'm sure this cracked his friends up. But he definitely wasn't laughing. This gives a whole new meaning to hanging out with friends. Swing by this place and become one of the few that can say they've been over the edge without falling. They told them they'd be seeing what food shopping is like for tigers. They just didn't know they'd be the groceries. I've heard of getting whiplash when driving, but that's taken up a notch to say the least. If you fall down the stairs at home, you're looking at a probable trip to the A&E. And if you fall down these stairs, you're taking a trip to the grave. When you slide into your crush's DMs, knowing the Riz is unmatched, never mind water parks, here's where the real vibes are. I've seen snow sledding, but I've never seen volcano boarding. With speed to burn in this case, we can literally say, the floor is lava. POV of a regular day for a mountain goat. Vertigo is scared of people who do this for fun. When life gets boring, you can always just create extreme sports for yourself, like backflipping into a swimming pool hanging off the edge. Here's how you can feel like the king of the concrete jungle. But when watching something on screen is difficult enough, then it's a pretty good sign that it's a bad idea. If standing on great heights wasn't a dizzying experience enough for you, the Stratosphere's insanity's got you covered. Here's a roller coaster that'll tie your stomach in knots. That makes me lightheaded just looking at it. I wish I had as much faith in myself as these people do in those harnesses. Talk about a trust fall. And I thought doing leg day in the gym was bad the next day. Good luck even standing up after finishing this climb. Don't let the Mafia get their hands on this, or else intimidating tactics will go up another level. I've always wanted to walk on a horizontal version of the Eiffel Tower, said somebody at some point. When you get bored of skimming stones, try skimming yourself. It's about the journey, not the destination. And when your destination is into the jaws of Godzilla, then the journey part can take as long as possible, please. When it looks like you're not even on the track to begin with, an off-the-rails experience is guaranteed. There's bungee jumping, and then there's taking a leap of faith like no other. My advice, leave your phone behind for that one. Some people go to the beach to sunbathe and make sandcastles. Others make giant slides and create legendary moments. Forget cheap cocktails. Here's how you make a splash on the holidays. And definitely save the drinks for afterwards, or else when you go down, something else may come up. 
Sledding down a desert dune is probably the most thrilling and satisfying way to get sandy cheeks. If you're brave enough to take on those activities, then you've got the courage to take on the world. But for now, we've got a much less stressful challenge for you. And that's hitting that like and subscribe button.